Hello, my name is Dr John Luck. I'm one of the team of consultant ministers here at the Golden Jubilee National Hospital. Your pre-operative assessment nurse has presented this short film to you in order that we can provide you with some important information about the types of anaesthetic and pain management which you can expect to receive for your foot or ankle operation. Operations on the foot or the ankle can be associated with moderate to severe pain. This film focuses on a range of specific anaesthetic techniques which are commonly used for pain relief in foot and ankle surgery. These techniques are collectively known as peripheral nerve blocks. Depending on your specific operation, the anaesthetist may propose to use one or more of these blocks in an effort to provide you with good pain relief. The following film explains these nerve blocks, including their potential benefits and risks. You will still meet an anaesthetist before your operation and so any additional questions can be asked at that time. For your foot or ankle surgery, you will receive a combination of two different anaesthetic techniques. For the duration of the operation, the majority of patients will receive a general anaesthetic or sedation. For your pain control during and after the operation, we commonly perform one or more additional peripheral nerve blocks. I will now discuss the two most commonly used peripheral nerve blocks for foot and ankle surgery, the ankle and the popliteal nerve block. The ankle block is a very common peripheral nerve block for foot surgery. An ankle block may be performed before or after a general anaesthetic. The block can be undertaken with or without the use of an ultrasound machine. It consists of injecting local anaesthetic into up to five different areas around your foot in the region around the nerves supplying the skin, bone and muscles of your foot. Your anaesthetist will select the nerves to be blocked and this will be determined by the planned extent of your surgery. Depending on the specific nerves blocked, your foot may feel partially numb or completely numb when you awake again in the recovery room. This illustration shows where your anaesthetist will inject local anaesthetic and demonstrates the area affected by a total ankle block. The ankle block may provide pain relief for between 2 and 18 hours. Popliteal nerve block. The popliteal nerve block is used for extended foot and ankle surgery, including ankle replacement. The popliteal nerve block may be administered before or after a general anaesthetic. The block is usually performed under ultrasound guidance. Alternatively, your anaesthetist may use a special nerve stimulating needle to locate the nerve. A popliteal nerve block consists of injecting local anaesthetic at the back or side of your knee around a single nerve called the sciatic nerve. This nerve provides most of the sensation to your foot. In addition, it serves the muscles and bones of the foot and ankle. This illustration shows where your anaesthetist will inject local anaesthetic for a popliteal nerve block and also shows the area affected by the block. Ankle block and popliteal nerve block. What are the advantages of having an ankle block and popliteal nerve block? These nerve blocks aim to provide you with a period of prolonged pain relief after your operation which helps you to recover faster. This period may vary between 2 and 18 hours and subsequently helps to reduce the need for strong painkillers and their associated side effects such as nausea, vomiting and sedation. What are the potential side effects of having an ankle block or a popliteal nerve block carried out? Common side effects Numbness and muscle weakness of your operated leg. This is a common side effect. This effect will disappear when the local anaesthetic wears off. Pain or unusual sensation during the injection of the local anaesthetic. If your anaesthetist performs the nerve block while you're awake, you may experience brief discomfort whilst they anaesthetise the skin area and they will explain this to you. Following this, please let the anaesthetist know immediately if you feel any further pain or unpleasant sensation during the injection of the local anaesthetic, so that he or she can make the appropriate adjustments to complete the block. Having these blocks administered whilst awake can be associated with moderate discomfort. After discussing with you, 
the anaesthetist may plan to undertake the block procedure after you're under a general anaesthetic. If this is the case, then they may use an ultrasound machine or a nerve stimulator to locate the nerves as appropriate. Failure. Occasionally, nerve blocks are unsuccessful. If so, your anaesthetist and the pain team will provide you with alternative pain relief. Rare complications and very rare complications. Bleeding. On occasion, the blood vessels which run adjacent to the nerves can be accidentally punctured by the injecting needle. This may result in a bruise called a hematoma. If you are on blood thinning medications such as clopidogrel or warfarin, you will receive advice in the pre-assessment clinic about when to stop them before your operation. This reduces the likelihood of developing a bruise, a blood clot or some bleeding at the injection site of the nerve block. Infection. This is a rare complication. Your anaesthetist will take all necessary precautions to reduce the risk of any infection at the injection site. Nerve damage. This is a very rare complication of an ankle block or popliteal nerve block. After a peripheral nerve block, temporary loss of feeling, pins and needles and sometimes muscle weakness in the area in which the nerves have been blocked is common and to be expected. In around 1 in 10 patients, this effect may last for a few days or even a few weeks, but almost all make a full recovery. Permanent nerve damage after a peripheral nerve block is very rare, and the risk is estimated at around 1 in 2,000 to 1 in 5,000 patients. There may be multiple causes after a foot or ankle operation, which can lead to nerve damage. In the course of performing the surgery, Nerves can be inadvertently or unavoidably stretched or damaged, or the tourniquet, which is an inflated tight band placed to reduce the bleeding to allow the operation to proceed, may press on nerves and injure them. The inflammation and swelling at the operation sites may also contribute. Some pre-existing medical conditions, such as diabetes and atherosclerosis, may also contribute to an increased likelihood of nerve damage in specific patients. Your surgeon will discuss these risks with you in your own particular case. A study published in 2009 concluded, serious complications after peripheral nerve blockade is uncommon and that the origin of neurologic symptoms or signs in the post-operative period is most likely to be unrelated to nerve blockade. If following your operation you experience numbness, a feeling of pins or needles or weakness lasting longer than two days, after your foot or ankle operation, please contact your surgeon or anaesthetist by contacting the Golden Jubilee National Hospital Orthopaedic Outpatient Clinic. It may be that we request you to come to the hospital for a review and if necessary we may instigate some investigations and treatment as indicated. We hope that you have found this short film informative and reassuring. The content of this film has been inspired by many conversations with our patients and it contains information relating to the questions that are most frequently asked. Our primary concerns are your safety and comfort and to support you in making a rapid recovery. If you have any further questions, these can be discussed in person with an anaesthetist in the outpatient clinic or, alternatively, with your anaesthetist looking after you for your surgery. If you wish more written information, please go to the Royal College of Anaesthetists website. Thanks again for taking the time to view this film. We always welcome your feedback since this allows us to make improvements in both the information we provide and the way we deliver care to our patients in the future. If you have any comments in relation to this film or about any of the information and material received, please don't hesitate to let us know. You can do so by speaking to any member of staff or by dropping us a letter or an email. The entire team wish you a safe and successful journey through your surgery and we are very much looking forward to welcoming you here at the Golden Jubilee National Hospital. <laughs>